Life dream. <laughs>in this new type of video so in this video I will be showcasing you really the entrepreneur journey we're living right now with Daniela with our travel agency that we're trying to build from scratch <laughs> so we am ready to be sustainable we are mostly targeting students and we want to do like micro expedition so this is a bit like the project for itself so you will discover in those vlogs like all the ups and downs we are going through, uh, everything relating to that project. So let's start with the beginning. How everything started? Well, you have to know that this idea was really born in a class. I met Daniela like mid-year in 2022 in a class called business creation where basically you have to create a business from scratch. So during that classroom, we kind of get along and know each other and we're actually both of us coming from the tourism industry and we're like, hey, let's do something in sustainable tourism. So this is how a bit the project started. It was really a class thing at first and a group project. Uh, we had a few group meeting with also a group member that joined a bit later on for the project, but still part of the class. Uh, we also have the lectures to go attend and we were pitching the idea in class and after seeing all the engagement of people the feedback of the teacher uh, we were like hey god we might have something so this is a bit like how everything started right now i'm not really dedicated full time to my projects i'm still just studying here at hc montreal at the same time i'm working for Destination Quebec City, which is basically the tourist office of Quebec City. I'm also, I'm kind of their consultant in sustainability. And at the same time, of course, I'm vlogging and doing uh, YouTube videos. And then I still try to have a life. <laughs> to kind of enjoy outside, do some sports, stay fit. So also, it's kind of intense, but we'll manage to make our dreams for our travel agency, we are mainly targeting students and new immigrants. Therefore, we created a questionnaire and went to the corridors of HSM Montreal to interview students and measure their reactions regarding our idea. We are right now in HSM Montreal. We just finished the interviews and we're now doing a kind of a feedback session together to see the data we collected, but also which program we should maybe apply for HSM Montreal to become entrepreneurs and see if this project will really go on. Woo! <laughs> Excited! Woo. Let's meet Daniela. Hi, I'm from Colombia. I'm 30 years old and I'm studying international, no, innovation and inter entrepreneurship. You have to know that Daniela is a bit more our contact person. Like she's the one with the most contact here in Montreal, especially in the field of entrepreneurship. So this is why when we're doing stuff like regarding a bit sales or things like that, she's the one more in charge than me. We all have our own specialties, no worry. <laughs> uh, so this is how actually she managed to got us an interview with Montreal Lab, which is an incubator here in Montreal. And it's like an incubator actually really focused on tourism. So it was really in our field. So we're like, hey, <laughs> let's pitch. <laughs> So she managed to get us the interview, we pitched the project and we think we're super well. Uh, our contact person was really loving the idea. He gave us a lot of feedbacks on a way to improve it, ideas or things to really dig a bit more. And uh, yeah, this is how it, it began also, another way of testing our idea. After analyzing the results of our interview that we did in the corridor of HSC Montreal, we find out that 80% of the interviewees, who are mostly students, <laughs> were willing to travel with us if we open the agency for real. So we were like, <laughs> so we were like, wow, we might have something here. 
And another thing is that I need also to clarify a bit my situation with HSC Montreal because I'm still a student there and I'm coming to the end of my uh, master program and to end the master you need to do a master thesis! We all love it! <laughs> And I need to ensure that I will be able to work on the project if we decide to continue further with it. Um, so I needed to send a few emails and discuss with my program leader and so on. And after a few email exchange, the response was yes! <laughs> I could work on the project as part of my master thesis. So far it's been good. I'm really happy because most of the people we've been speaking to are interested and they're like really looking forward for that project to really come out and there is a really a need for it from what we understood so finger crossed and also I would like to thank everyone that participated in the project from far from close that really like took time to discuss with us uh, to give us some recommendation um, so yeah so I'm really excited about that because like <laughs> I'm also super excited to see that all of you are also super motivated and are really helping us to develop the project so hoping it will go on we'll have to submit soon some some documents and all to really go to the next step speaking about it now we aim to enter an incubator Therefore, we get in touch with La Base Entrepreneuriale at HEC Montreal throughout their networking events. It is the incubator of our university. We had first a presentation of their different programs and feedback of entrepreneurs who were doing the program at the moment. I took some notes and write down some tips to help us with our application process. We ended up with a small buffet where we could connect with other participants. After the event, we were really rushing because we had just a few days to prepare everything and submit the pitch final video, but also fill up all the form with Daniela. And I remember it was quite a rush because I just got back from Mexico from a travel. At the same time, I had friends who were visiting uh, me in Montreal, so I had to handle everything, but also my classes, my job. So it was super intense, but we did a lot of time management and we were able to submit the project on time and we submitted everything on the 11th of November. And here are some backstage of our pitch just for the fun of it. <laughs> No, es mejor que somos juntas. Sí. En bueno, aquí sí. Para la motivación. Para muestra bueno, que yo. somos una equipa. Bueno, está bien. <ríe> ah, no. Está bien, está bien, está bien, no te preocupes. <ríe> ya está, está loco como. Then we had to wait. Until finally. We're so excited to go to the next step. Um, which was today. <ríe> So basically we had to prepare a full pitch with a presentation and after we had a 10 minute questions which was super short and super fast like really it was like wow and i don't know like the pitch was nice in itself but i felt like the audience didn't really understand like what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it they had a lot of questions about how it will be organized and the fact that it's still like a baby project like i mean we didn't really invest any money yet we did not like did any pilot project, we did not do anything because we are still studying, we have a lot of things going on, like we were having this idea just like one or two months ago, not even, so that's why it was really a bit tricky and we also had like our own job and all, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Anyway, we were prepared, like they appreciate the fact that we prepared more slides in order to uh, be able to discuss during the question time, so they were you're really happy for that. That's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, let's see. They had a lot of questions though. And I'm afraid we didn't already answer them all well. Like for example, he asked us about the experience, how it will be the experience journey. And I think we were a bit on the side maybe. Um, so yeah. 
Then no. Uh, anyway, let's see what's gonna be in the future. Tricky, huh? <laughs> complicated times. <laughs> will our life change or not? You yeah, will discover it in the next episode. By the way, let me know if you like this new type of video where I go more in depth in my life but also in our entrepreneur journey here with Daniela where you can see all of this, the backstage, the behind the scene. So let me know in the comments below if you like it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and anyway, explore your surroundings. Bisous, bisous